anaconda or miniconda which one should you go for well in today's video i'm going to tell you the difference between anaconda and miniconda and which one is going to best fit your system requirements so if you want to get started with artificial intelligence data science machine learning or whatsoever you want to use conda environment for this video is for you you should basically know the difference between these two and when to use them so without any further ado let's get started with the video all right guys so i'm in my system now and basically i'm on anaconda.com landing page and here you can see that you just have this nice landing page about anaconda so if you don't know what anaconda is um, basically anaconda is just a full featured um distribution of python for data science and machine learning for those of us that don't know and um it comes with this conda package manager right? and pre-installed libraries like numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn and whatsoever name it right so those packages comes with um anaconda right so when it comes to miniconda right miniconda is just a lightweight version of anaconda and it only includes conda and python only right so um it does not come with those additional data science packages right like numpy pandas and all of that right all right guys so if i come here um i'm currently in miniconda um overview and you can see that miniconda is a free miniature installation for anaconda distribution that includes only conda and python right so the packages they, they both depend on and a small number of use for other packages right so just limited packages that comes with miniconda and um for you to install miniconda you can just go ahead to install it directly you can see anaconda download and if you want to install miniconda also you can go ahead to miniconda to install it right but one thing i also want to show you guys is the system requirements right you can go ahead to read this i'm going to drop the description in the link below and basically you can see that a minimum of 400 mb disk space to download and install right if you are considering actually maximizing your space that you have on your system then basically you can go for miniconda right it requires less space you can see 400 mb which is very very small right so let's go ahead to check that of anaconda right so if i come here you can see that um the overview of anaconda is comes with conda packages um and over 300 automatically installed packages for you right so that should tell you guys that it's going to take more time installing anaconda and also um, it comes with some default packages when you are installing it right and um, if I go ahead to system requirements, you can go ahead to read more about this also. And this message is as of October 21, 2024. And you can see that you need a minimum space of what 5 gig, right? For you to install Anaconda, right? So basically, this should give you an idea that um, Anaconda takes more space and also it's going to take more time to install, right? But it comes with some default um, packages installed already. And basically, those are the major difference between Anaconda and Miniconda. Right? So if you want all in one data science setup with pre-installed packages, then you can go for Anaconda, right? But um, if you know you prefer a minimal setup, right, where um you want to install only the packages that you need, right? So if you really know what you are doing and you are saying, okay, I don't want to install all these packages on my system because it might be taking space and i might not be using some right so you can go ahead to use miniconda that way you're going to have the, a minimalistic setup for for your system right and you're not going to have unnecessary libraries sitting down on your system that you are basically not using right and if i go ahead to stack overflow here you can see that somebody also dropped the major difference between anaconda and miniconda and i'm also going to be dropping the link in the description below so make sure to check it out and read about this right so that's pretty much it about anaconda and miniconda um now you know when to use anaconda and when to go for miniconda right so if you find this video informative make sure you subscribe like and comment types of video that you want me to make um see you in the next one guys bye bye